Ah, <sighs> nice and quiet. Hey there, bike blogger here. On my way to work. It's Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Today I wanted to talk about handlebars. Slow it down. I touched on the topic the other day about handlebars that is and I wanted to talk a little bit more about it since I have three different commuting bikes and all the commuting bikes have different handlebars different style handlebars check out the buffalo to the left there so I want to you know sort of discuss the differences and which is my favorite I think I already said that in a previous video um, and uh, there are three main types, and those are the types I got on my bikes. I think there's three main types. Could be wrong. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to work out for me. I'm waiting for all this traffic. This traffic coming from over there. And traffic sort of slowed down from the left, but now it's coming again. Now it's slowing down to the right. I think I'm watching a bus right now. I think we can go after this car here. There we go. I'm gonna cut through the parking lot. Be careful not to run into the FedEx truck out of there. Where's he going? He's going left, stopping there. Let's go this way. All right. Going slightly different way here. Cut back here now. So, first type of handlebar are the flat bars. You see them often on mountain bikes. They usually extend, usually extend pretty far from the stem or from the center of the bike. That's to give you lots of leverage to uh, swing the bike back and forth. Uh, it's moving around and stuff. Sort of comes from the BMX world. I think mountain bikes really started taking off in the United States really in the early 90s. And they account for, oh, I don't know, since the early 90s, they account for in the United States like 80 or 90 percent of sales, I think. So if you own a bike, chances are you own a mountain bike in the United States. Anyway, um, so the purpose of the really, stop, really wide bars is so, you know, you have more control over the bike. You can move it around obstacles more easily. Um, again, though, that's also just because, uh, you know, on a, on a mountain biking trail, you have more obstacles generally. Although I will say, on the road, commuting on the road, there are a lot of potholes and stuff. It's almost like riding a mountain biking trail sometimes. Whew. I'm gonna make a right here. miles per hour feel like I'm going a little slow today end of the week feel a little worn out uh, mentally and physically taking the lane here I'm gonna get over though nobody behind me All right, 
climb this hill here. Uh, so, mountain biking handlebars. I said flat, or I might have said flat bars, but typically they got the the brakes right up here, right up front, really close to you, which is a good thing. Which is another sort of reason why a flat handlebar bike could be a good commuting bike. But that's more so just because of the geometry of a typical flat handlebar bike that is a, a typical mountain bike. You're more sort of sitting up straight and whoo, and you can sort of see a little better what's going on around you. You know, sort of on the, in the hunched over stance and uh, you can sort of see what's going on a little better than uh, leaning over the bars. Whoo, still got a bunch of bunch of uh, logs and stuff over there. Those look like um, railroad, uh, what do you call them, ties or something? They're pretty big though. Uh, so, the uh, second type of handlebar, road bars. Those are the ones that sort of have a drop to them, which allow you to get way low, really low. And uh, more aerodynamic, you know, you're decreasing your frontal area. You just get way down, as far down as you can get pretty much, keeping your arms horizontal, or your uh, forearms parallel with the ground and just get as much good aerodynamics as you can. Which you can also sort of do with these type of handlebars. 23.6 miles per hour. Oh, the wind feels really nice. It's pretty cool right now. It's gonna get up to about 90 Fahrenheit though. Feels pretty nice right now, especially in the shade where it's cooler. But yeah, road handlebars. The big benefit to them compared to the flat bars or the riser bars or the mountain biking handlebars or whatever is uh, you got multiple hand positions which is a big usefulness because you know on the mountain biking bars you tend to have just really one you know really functional position which is wherever the the grips are um, but with a road bike you know you got you can get on the hoods like that like I'm sort of showing here with these different bars but get on the hoods or you can get down in the drops I don't really have drops then you can stay on the tops like this. So there's a huge benefit to road handlebars. You just got so many positions. So especially for things like longer bike rides or touring, you know, you, you can uh, keep yourself from fatiguing early. You know, if, you know, if you had just one hand position. Oh boy, that's loud. Just missed the train. Pretty quiet right now in the park. I don't really see anybody in the field. No, nobody around right now. It's sort of late morning now. We're just about. Sun is up. We are on our way to go do some work. <laughs> um. So I'm taking it real easy. I'm going 13 miles per hour. So the road bars, you know, highly recommend road bars. I mean, you probably can't do any better than that. I mean, there are some other 
more obscure or let's say less popular or less uncommon handlebars there's a instead of a loopy loop uh, handlebar a mustache bar or whatever you call them you got I don't know five positions then or something um, that was pretty cool um, these bars here that I'm riding with you typically see them uh, on fixed gear bicycles or single speed bikes uh, I want to say it's a cultural thing I think it's also mainly just a marketing thing it's like oh that's definitely a fixie or fixed gear sorry about that some people consider fixie derogatory um, or a single speed bike or a you know one speed one gear Either way, a fixed gear bike's one gear too. Unless you got like an internally internal gear hub where you can switch, uh, shift gears with your hub. Did a video on that. Um, so yeah, this is this handlebar is called a bullhorn. Um, slide variation is called a pursuit handlebar. But in any case, these bars here on my bike here. Link in the description below. My bike is the Wabi Lightning SE. Um, these bars are Originate, Bullhorn, Pursuit 2 or something, handlebars. Look at that. Straight ahead. McDonald's is gone. The aliens took it. Or the government. Depending on your view of the world. To all the government. X Files, X Files, X Files. Thought I heard they were bringing back that show. This guy's got to be pretty old by now. It's a 90s show, early 2000s. Still over a decade ago. Ugh. Oh, I feel sort of old. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a left here got the signal so let's go for it uh, always go straight I always go straight into the slow lane like I did right there um, let's make a right I'm just chilling today um, technically I think you're if you're in a car at least you're supposed to go in the nearest lane just like technically in a car when you make a turn from one road to the other you're supposed to do it as near to the curb as possible uh, so another reason why you'd be much more likely to right hook a cyclist who's riding in the gutter or riding very far into the shoulder near the curb it's sort of dangerous anyway yeah, these are bullhorn handlebars. So the best of both worlds, I think. Well, actually these are sort of narrow. These are maybe 42 centimeter wide for filtering through traffic. Slow down here. Ah, oh, nice and quiet. Let's go one more block. Um, Bullhorn handlebars, so how many positions have I got? Well, I got these, which are up front. You know, I'm sort of getting probably the most aerodynamic position with these handlebars. And then I can sort of go here, get a little bit of ways from the break-ins, and then I can go way up here. So I got basically three main, or major, let's make a left here, positions. And Similar to the road handlebars, typically you find these bullhorn handlebars. It's like grabbing onto a bull's horns. Um, the whole bar is covered in uh, bar tape. Commonly with these types of handlebars, you'll find uh, you'll find the brakes are up here in the front. Really, you just want to put the brakes wherever you ride the most. Um, 
which for me is uh, sort of more in the bar end position. Way out here. So these are bar end brake levers. Um, you'll usually find them, I think, on aero bikes or TT time trial bikes. Um, although these might not be the same. I think the bar end brakes on TT bikes might be smaller and weigh a little less or something. I don't know. Time trial or triathlon or whatever. Bicycles look pretty weird. Sort of. Although this bike looks a little weird with its bull horns and the bar end brakes, but I like it. And you want to put the brakes at least wherever you normally ride. When I'm going down, or where are you going down hills? When I go down hills and and uh, going fast, I usually am on the ends here and get more leverage. And then when I'm sort of cruising, I sort of sit back and put my hands here. I don't have intermittent brakes or cross levers or whatever you want to call them right here. Probably be a good idea. Let's make a right. Um, but uh. Eh, you know. Anyway, so, I'm running out of time here. What's my favorite handlebar? The Bullhorns. They're my favorite handlebars. Um, I like road bars. I just find I don't use the drops very often. Um, you can set up road bars so the drops are a little higher. Generally speaking, though, you want the, the hoods, the things on top, to be uh, sort of parallel with the ground. Anyway, my other bike has that, so I do ride this sort of stuff. We'll see you next time. I'm going to lose my momentum here. And wait a minute. Here we go. 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 There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, I pretty much did lose all my momentum. Ah. Oh. Nice and quiet. Hey there, bike blogger here. On my way to work. It's Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Today I wanted to talk about handlebars. Slow it down. I touched on the topic the other day about handlebars that is and I wanted to talk a little bit more about it since I have three different commuting bikes and all the commuting bikes have different handlebars different style handlebars check out the buffalo to the left there so I want to you know sort of discuss the differences and which is my favorite I think I already said that in a previous video um, and uh, there are three main types, and those are the types I got on my bikes. I think there's three main types. Could be wrong. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna work out for me. I'm waiting for all this traffic. This traffic coming from over there, and traffic sort of slowed down from the left, but now it's coming again. Now it's slowing down to the right. I think watching a bus right now. I think we can